Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial in Revit Group Bono Lake. In the tutorial, you will learn how to create custom steel connection and placement rebar on footing. Okay, so let's follow along together for this tutorial. Again, don't forget to subscribe button below and turn on notification for more about Revit because I make video like this for a week. Here I am in Revit Structural Template. Okay, so let's start create our column first after that we load our footing in structural tab here and then only we start create our custom steel custom steel connection so let's start placement our column first see and on my keyboard for column or you can find here on your structural tab just click here one so in the case i just leave it for I column I column because we talk about the structure in the tutorial uh, in my country we call it E column okay so let's press first so here you need to check okay this one just leave it too high and this one I don't mind that I just leave it for the well too because just a quick tutorial then I just click press like this one hit a square a couple of time here is my A column, so I need to place our footing first. By placing that, I'm going to structure tab here, then go to isolate here, select here one. Then hit a tab, hit a space key on my keyboard for rotate direction. Press a center here like this. Hit a square couple of time. Go into 3D view. Okay, so let's go back to our level one. By placement of our footing, we need to create section first. Uh, I put link in description for our previous tutorial for how to create footing, reformant, and structural column and beam. You can check link in description for previous tutorial. Okay, so let's check another topic. Let's go around for our the tutorial. Again, I'm going to our section here. Then just click here like this one. Here I need to switch because I want to show this position. Uh, drag here like this one. So right click on my keyboard, then go to view. This one need to adjustment a little bit. This one here I need to turn on chain level detail to find. Here is here is our eye column and here is our footing deform. So start let's start place our rebar here by place our rebar just select here one then go to rebar here or you can go to structure here. Here is rebar just select here one then it's okay. Here is my rebar shape. So I need to use to choose it for my rebar first in the case i prefer for m17 just click here one then here need to change to parallel to work plan here and then start here like this one hit a square a couple of time let's go back to level one here then this one we need to change to wireframe for see through our rebar here is our rebar. In this case, I want to arrange my rebar to until this uh, this side. So just click here one. Um, we on my keyboard for move. Then start from here until here like this one. Uh, it's pretty much for me. So in this case, we got an, a lot of option here. So you can again you can check back in link in description for more about this because this one I just talk about steel connection. So I I don't want to explain too much in the tutorial so this indicates i prefer for number of spacing here the spacing i give 160 then just go up one two five it's when eight okay that pretty much so let's press another vertical here hit a square couple of time go to section here again go to rebar then choose again M17 in the case change to this one okay this one 
just click here like this one go back to okay here we need to change our uh, rebar size just like one then this one in the property tab you can see it's our rebar bar so i prefer for just a quick one 17 uh sorry not 17 16 okay this one is 16 also this one is 16 also here we need to move and we for move here i move up here like this one and then like this and here I need to drag down like this one and this one as well so go to 3d turn on okay let me check okay here is we run properly already just go back to level one then select here sorry with like our vertical rebar again go to number with pressing let me start here it's one two three four five okay this one 160 again let's move around a bit go to my section okay so now no issue let's start create our custom steel connection go to my 3d view it is what we have done um we go to our level one here train this one to consistent color let's start create our steel plate here so by creating i'm going to steal here here is plate for we for our for we create our structural plate in the building in the building model so just click here one so you can start draw i prefer for line in this case this one i just offset 450 and here also 150 like this one and here also um here just click here like this one okay so just like here all like this one then go to mirror like this one then start draw first then continue 450 uh, let me continue 450 here and here as well continue here as well and here's like one here and one here go to mirror again like this one and here I need to delete the ear my cable for the list it's time to connect so I connect here like this one and connect here like this one and here connect as well hit escape a couple of time here is my uh steel plate that i want to place i think is too big okay just quick to the rear uh i think you will get the point for how to get a steel plate i just hit finish one go to my 3d view this one i train to find here is my steel plate and here i need to change to shape okay here is what we have done uh let's continue for our steel tab again in the case i want to go to certain we've cost certain fee for create a certain object on the selection beam that you can stream or extend that beam so i just click here one here is so our how what we need to do need is select a beam or column to be modified or reframe and so i just like my column here like this one then i hit enter again here is my short hand this one here so you can up and down it depends on you okay so i just slip it like this one okay so now it's time to place our uh bolt and nuts in the case i would like to use angle bolt so i just select here for angle like here one okay this one i don't want to sell first then i just select my my steel plate here like this one then i hit enter on my keyboard after that i select the top one 
for my steel plate just like here like this okay so here you need to draw so i prefer to go through wireframe it's easier for me go to rectangle then i start from here one until i think something until here hit a couple times for unselect tick then just hit finish here is my angle board that load into my project okay so now it's time to adjustment for our angle so here is property panel that you can check out here standard i want to change to german okay this one german j angle just like here one then for diamond diameter i train to 24 something 24 for number side this one chain to one chain to one and for spacing here i just leave it for 300 and in term die okay also diamond also 300 a term intermedium distance sorry intermediate is distance so position and also to change and go orientation here i change to inside rotate just hit apply okay so now let's adjust another angle about here so by adjust that again we need to go to our steel tab here select drop down here angle again then select my steel plate hit enter on my keyboard then choose a uh, top one again we drop it again so start from here like this one and until here hit a square couple of time then we just hit finish let's adjust the same for our previous thing before so like this one uh 24 this one change to number one and this one change to 300 300 uh, okay this one 300 also is apply then hit apply okay so, and there we go here is what we have done um this one let's go to realistic okay so here we need to adjustment first because our uh, uh, e column is going up so this one you need to adjust we need to adjustment as well so i adjustment my angle first this one change to 400 by 400 this one is 400 also just hit apply okay so now is everything is pretty much so let's adjustment for this one go to left like this one we like right this one okay so here i select it for my a column here strike it like this one this one i going to change for zero zero then has apply then go to my product my view okay so now here is my steel plate and my and my e column is is connection so steel plate you can change for thickness as well in the case i prefer for 20 i just hit apply okay so everything is look fine it's time to uh assign for our custom steel connection again i'm going to wireframe start from front here like this one and select my e column go to steel tab then this one a e connection just hit connection like this one okay here is our connection generation connection then i'm going to customize just rename for um still connection like this one then just hit okay uh here we need to add just add one this one go to front like this one 
then start from here like this one like this okay then we just hit finish here is our steel connection is uh was done let's turn on okay so let's turn on our 3d solid uh, rebar for footing select all like this one go to filter check none go to structural rebar hit apply then hit okay here in our property view we change here view visibility stat just hit edit here we need to check one two three and four then just hit okay go back to realistic okay so we more finish for this tutorial again i'm going back to my um level one for plus for our connection because we have we had done already so i copy here one like this one okay so now for it's loading uh this one check delete, delete first okay go to 3d okay as you can see here is mt just uh, our e-beam and footing and here we have done before just go to realist uh i think wireframe be easier to see so now let me assign for my custom steel connection that i have created before i just like my e-beam like this one then i'm going to steel tab click connection then connection is show up okay so our connection is going around position um okay i just like here one go to steel connection then select connection here okay here is now my connection is come right position then i just select my connection here like this one in property panel we can train you just drop down here is our previous one that we have created just select here one and there you go so here now is what we have done and this one i just turn on for 3d as well 3d solid for our rebar to realistic and this one just what hits one and two and right click then overdrive okay. okay this one um i think just leave it like this okay guys uh i think it's pretty much for this tutorial uh guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoy this tutorial for your structure connection let's comment below if you want me to create another video about your structure okay again thank you for watching don't forget to hit subscribe button below and turn on notification for learn more about revit because i make video like this for a week thank you guys for watching i see you for the next episode